This here is a warning to you guys about false testimonies. Let me tell you something. God does not want credit for what the devil did. Many are getting up before platforms, giving false testimonies about what God has done. And God is not in it because you do not live for God. Okay, this is merely things working out in your favor. God did not tell you to go travel around the world and give and start a ministry. That's not how God works. Okay, God does things decently and in order. All right, and you have to be living for him. You know, and, and oftentimes when, when we suffer for God, you get to the point where you 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 almost become bitter with God. You almost don't want to serve God when 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 it's it when it's him doing giving you his long suffering. It's not it's not it's not a bunch of worldly things like, oh, I'm struggling here. I'm struggling here. And boom, God gave me a check. And 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 God opened up this door without any credit, without this, without that. Things will work itself out. You know what I'm saying? But God is not in that. Things could very well work itself out for you, love. And y'all slapping God's name on it and giving it as a testimony. And that's not God if you're not truly living for him. I have a question. If that's God. And you're living for him. And he gave you that testimony. Where's the angel? Where's the Holy Spirit? That's supposed to end the well in you. This is how it's a false. It's, it's a false testimony, you guys. God is not doing that. God is not doing that. God is not in that. Okay. You have to live for God for real. Y'all make it seem like his word is false. Y'all make it seem like, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to, to give up your life of sin. Y'all make it seem like God will, will, will tell you this and tell you that. And then boom, he'll, he'll just send somebody to bless you and, 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 and he'll, he'll, uh, uh, return 26 grand to you and, and all this stuff. I'm not saying that God is not able to do these things, you guys, but that's not how God operates. You have to really serve him and God gives provision and God gives you his word. When God told me to leave, he told me, get thee out to a place that I will show you. When God told me that I started looking for a place where I was still living and ain't no door open for me. And I said, well, God, what are, you, what are you calling me to get thee out to? That's his word. That's what he told Abraham. Get thee out to a place that I will show you. Take nothing for your journey now. God, he, he gives provision where he, where he sends you. There's provision there. I had the money to leave. When he said, get thee out, he had already given me the provision to get thee out with. Y'all got to understand that. Like God don't operate. He, 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 he loves nothing more than to, 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 to give you uh, something to, to boast to him about. He will give you a testimony, but love, you got to really live for God. You got to have his indwelling spirit. You know, God is upset about this and many are needing to repent because of the false testimonies, because of the false breakthroughs, because of uh, false fasting. God is not okay with this. Y'all are sending a false message to the world, to the to the people that really that 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 really want Christ. You make it look like it's just like a bunch of blessings. And that oh, you a struggle, but boom, God will let me tell you something. When, you, when God puts you through his long suffering, long suffering is a fruit. See Galatians 5. Okay, but when he puts you through his long suffering. You near about don't want to, you, you almost want to break up with God. You almost become bitter with God. This, that's serious. You don't just, oh, God is doing it and I'm so happy with God and I love God. And, and God is just blessing me. That's not how it is. That's not how it is. Not when he put you, when he crushed your spirit so. You, that, you. You, you, you almost don't want to serve God after that. I'm talking about when he put you through long suffering. Okay. So let, let's let, go. Oh God, you know, let, let's, let's get out of this, 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 uh, 
this like this 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 false sense of of what you think you know what I'm saying God is doing in your life. That's not God. That's not God. Okay. And you guys need to repent and live for God for real. Take Him at His word for real. Let Him prove Himself to you and prove His word in your life. Everything is literal. You will have an indwelling of God's spirit. You will have a Holy Spirit with you. If you really living for him. And if he really gave you that testimony. Okay. Stop slapping God's name on what the devil bless you with. God don't want that kind of credit. He, the Bible is clear. He say if you reject me. I will reject you. And you reject God. When you don't love him with your whole heart, mind, and soul and keep all of his word. That means to do his word. You don't really love God if you don't have his indwelling spirit. You're not really after his own, after his heart like David was. Y'all just think it's about having a ministry and, and being able to talk to people and you, not, you haven't been called. There's no power that follows you. Many have suffered wrong. You have placed your suffering on, oh, I was raped, I was molested, I was this, I was that. That's not, that's not, that's not, that's not how we, that's not, that's not the long suffering that God gives. That's when you, that's when you was in sin and you didn't have God. That's when you suffered wrong. You didn't suffer for God when, when all those bad things happened for you, happened to you. When you get God for real in your life, he takes you through his own, through his process of long suffering. And it's not just oh sleeping in my car and oh this no that that's that that, that that's probably a part of it. I'm not saying that cuz I was homeless for God. Okay? But we but I had his whole spirit with me. That's a process that you go through with the soul and the spirit. They go through a process together. God's angel and you go through a process together. Y'all, y'all gotta, y'all gotta get this. Y'all, y'all not really living for God. And, and these are false testimonies and God is tired of it. You guys need to repent. He's calling you to repentance today. Okay. Israel with their false hopes. You can see Isaiah eight. I mean, I'm sorry, Hosea eight. It's not God. Many of you guys, you have false hopes. And because it became hopeful, you slap God name on it. That's false. You need to repent. Be blessed.